Right, in this video we are going to show you a rear bumper option. So we have done a video with different rear bumper options for the Range Rover L405. This is our Range Rover. Um, they introduced the Range Rover L405 in 2013. They facelifted it in 2018. For the rear bumper it doesn't matter. Uh, they didn't change, they changed the bumper, but none of the mounting points. So you can put an 18 bumper on a 13, a 13 on an 18. You've got the SVO bumper, you've got the SVA bumper, and we've got this bumper here, which is a V-Star body kit rear bumper, um, which we're going to fit today and show you today. Um, right, so I'm going to put a link here to the video that shows you the other factory types of rear bumpers that are available. Um, this bumper isn't in it, but you can compare and, and contrast. Right, the key point about this bumper is, um, at the moment we've got them in stock painted black. So it means you don't have to go to a body shop. When you get it, it'll arrive all wrapped up, and it was well wrapped, packaged, ready to fit. So you can do it on your drive, on a weekend, no need to go to a body shop, which is a big plus. Right, so let's have a look around the kit, look at the features of it. Um, and then get on having to go at fitting it right so basically the um, a couple of advantages the whole thing is gloss paint finish now if you want this in a different color to the black email us and if there's enough demand we'll we'll get a batch done um, but this whole bit you can see the reflection here is all gloss whereas on the actual standard rear bumper this section is a matte texture finish um, which it looks okay on the black you just about get away with it um, but it does look much nicer in the gloss finish um, also you'll notice that on this bumper if I come to the side here it, it scoops up quite a lot now the new bumper is much squarer so it doesn't taper as much so it comes down lower at the back so if you're planning extreme off-roading this bumper is not the one for you right um, because the, it's got the exhaust tips, it comes down and so it just sits a little bit chunkier. And when you look at the back, the standard bumper is quite skinny. So it just beefs it up a bit, comes down a little bit lower. Um, you can see here this rear corner. And then, so with the kit, you've got the rear bumper. You've got the exhaust here. Ian will model it beautifully in to give you a, an example of how it looks. So that... And it's a little bit better than the 2018 because the 2018, the rear, the exhaust sits right underneath and slopes right back and you can hardly see it unless you're miles behind the car. This one, the exhaust more prominent. So, point to note, the exhausts that come with it are for the petrol car. Um, now, if you want a diesel, I'm going to recommend that you just cut off the back half behind the mounts um, and just let the exhaust go down for a diesel. Otherwise, the back of your car is going to get fairly sooty. So, that's one thing to note. You're going to have to mess about a bit with the exhaust if you're fitting it on a diesel car. Right, what else do we need to say? Right, the kit comes complete with the mounting brackets. So, we're going to work this out. But there's a mounting bracket. There's a sort of under shield here. Other mounting bracket. And there's a central mounting bracket. Where's that central mounting bracket? Oh, it's at the back there. Yeah, sorry. There you go. He's there. Right, and then you've got the tow eye cover which goes in in the back there and, and completes the look there um, point to note where on the tow eye if you do have the deployable tow bar like on the standard rear bumpers you're going to have to make some hole here if you've got the swan neck you're going to have to make a different sort of hole but you can use your standard rear tow eye as a template for doing that so that's another point to note right what else have we got that's it so that's the kit so what we're going to do right we've already done a video of how to remove the standard rear bumper and i'll put the link there so we're now going to remove this bumper and join you again and we'll start to look at the bracketry and the bumper fitment so we've got the bumper removed and we're under the car one top tip is raise the suspension so you guys know how to do that you just go into your car and go off road mode obviously safety if you're working under the car put some axle sands or something there to stop it falling on you because the airbags can fail right so basically this is the original what did i call like under shield so so it's not the tow eye cover because the tow eye cover fits in here um this is the under shield 
Now you also need to replace this with this new one Ian's got here, which mounts on a slightly different mount. If you sort of hold that up centrally Ian, it doesn't line up with the original mounts. So in the kit you get these new brackets. So you have to remove this plastic bracket here, which is held on with these two screws here and here. And then we're going to use the same mount in screws, same mount in positions. Fit this and then if you just, yeah, you've got the two, if I put my hand behind it, or oh, you can hardly see it. There but there's two up. holes here that are going to mount that undershield. So that's our next job. We'll whip those off. And we've and also got the, the, the middle one Where does well. the middle one go then? So here? again, just, it's all along it's all on that plate. same plate. Two 10 mils underneath there. Right, and again, I will say if you have got a removable tow bar or something, you'll have to just double check. It looks like you should have clearance. Um, but you'll have to get to these bolts, which may be obscured slightly with your deployable tow bar. Um, but it should all be compatible. Right. So Ian's gone under the car and removed, he's actually decided to remove this as one piece. So he just removed the two 10mm nuts at the back, the two 10mm bolts, sorry, here, and the two 10mm bolts there. It's just that's all, it, and the two in the middle there, wasn't yeah, it? So yeah, each part's just got two 10mm bolts holding on. Um, now one thing we need to do is we need to remove these white clips. So Ian's going to separate these now, remove those screws, so I'll leave him getting on with that, because um, we need to reuse all those clips. Now because what we'll need to do so Ian's fitted the new plastic bracket on this side which comes along here with the two fixing bolts and what we need to do is you need to use those plastic U clips we're going to call them they, they just slide on now in the you're too short because you've got two fixing holes here on the new bumper where you only had one on the old so they do give you a couple of extra clips to make up for that so they are green so you'll need to just add those extra green ones there and they then line up for the fixing. Right, one thing, okay, so the middle bracket's on, the outer bracket's on. Ian's left me to do some work. Um, one thing we noted when you fit these is there's a little hook there. Can you see that little hook just by my finger? And when you go to fit them, they hook into the holes. Same so, on the original. Yeah, do you want to fill me in? So it's the same on the original. So yeah, same on the original. And you've got these two little holes up my finger behind them there um we've got to get those little that one's not a hook but that one is so watch the heat shield where's that hook there and then that one goes in ah oh, oh, well, i see does that one go in that's it that one goes in like that i'm making this look difficult that's yes, right there's a mounting on for that heat shield that's why that keeps rubbing let's get right under here Twisting it in. Oh, yeah, I made it look a lot more difficult. Than that. And does that heat shield want to be on the outside? Uh, I think or the, inside? the inside it wants to inside. be, and then the, there should be a screw through that end as well. Right, then I get those two bolts. And bolt those in there. So that hook's literally just to hold it in place before you put the bolts in. So, yeah, I shouldn't need to hold it in there. Now, is there anything else we're going to mention? Now, we've mentioned about the deployable tow bar. These holes will be slightly hidden, I imagine, if you've got any sort of tow bar on it. Uh, no, I don't think so. This just uses the same two 10 mils that you've taken out at the back. Comes forward, and I think we can put... We can put these two middle... middle. The middle screws can go in, to start with. But these outer screws... They go through the whole bumper and everything, so yeah, they're they going to be one of the. Panel gets sandwiched, doesn't it? They're going to be one of the last bits to go to go in those two those screws here. Right, so I've got at the edge. I've got that in all cool. All right, so I've just got to fit that fit clip a bonus there. green one. That way out, and you've got the, the white, white one you've taken off there. And there should be a white one for the edge. And there's a white one that goes under this edge here, and you can see where they thinned it. Go under there. And then they do in the kit as well. You should have a couple of bonus screws that match, so the ones with the washer on. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll fit that match, end. which will fit at the end into the into your bonus green. It seems a good fittings. idea though to replace the one fixing with two. That's there's no harm in that. Only make it stronger. Right, we'll work out the next bit. Right, so we're removing the wiring loom from our original bumper here. 
Now, admittedly, our original bumper is an SVO bumper, but it will be the same. It will be the same on your. So it has a series of little clamps, aren't they, that are just sort of clipped over the... Yeah, so it's a series of these uh, sort of barbed, clippy things. That and oh, yeah. possibly some fir tree style ones. So we've got the old sort of fork tool that Ian's using to... And remember the routing, because it sort of comes round and hopefully it'll follow the same sort of routing. It sort of comes round and goes back on itself a little bit. And the other thing we're going to need is we're going to need the parking sensors out of this bumper. Right, while Ian's doing that, one thing to note, you'll notice on this bumper, there is this side um, parking sensor here. Now that's used if you've got that self-parking thing. I think they call it park assist or something. Now, the, this body kit that we're fitting doesn't have these side things in it. So if your car has park assist, the bumper we're fitting today will not be compatible with your car. You could sort of drill or make a fixing, but as supplied, it is not compatible. So it depends how desperately you want it. Right, so let's get back over there. Let's Obviously this bumper comes painted, so you need to be a little bit careful with it when you're installing this. So we've got it on some, some rubber tiles today. So I guess which end are you going to start with, Ian? Let's start with the... So those parking sensors, sorry, I didn't, they just pop out, right? So let's just have a Yeah, yeah. you've got two little wings and two little tabs on the side. You just spread them out and, and lift. Pop them out. Basically. And so they should just then push back in and clip in. Yeah, and on the parking sensor holder, you'll notice it's got like a wall on three sides, but the, the side where the parking sensor goes is, there's no wall. So Ian's just going to clip all that in, but does it look like all the clips are in the same place, Ian? Everything's going in, they've got all the same mounts, the same... Yeah, they're all going to reach. Right, so we'll do that. So that's just a simple swap job, that one. So yeah, Ian's clipped all that loom in. That's all gone fine, no problem. There's a couple of little um, places where the fixing holes aren't fully... Um, you can see here you've got the hole fully punched. There's a couple here where the paint is just needs trimming. Um, but we've been, they've been pretty good, haven't they? So Ian's just... Yeah, it's just a bit of, just a bit of paint that's just sealed over the hole a little bit. It's so more than a standing iPhone fix. So just watch out for that, check there. The next thing we need to do is fit this exhaust here into the, into the bumper. Because you don't want to be, in fact you can't do it when it's on the car. So you need to do this before fitting it on the car. So if you want to flip that over, Ian's done that one. Um, just to show you what it looks like. Um, let me jump around here. So, um, it's going to screw into these fixings here. So, so there's four of them, right, Ian? Yep. One, two, and if you look, they come with the metal clip. There's a metal U-clip already fitted. So, get the exhaust, clip it in. So, if you've got it this way up, obviously it's, it's not going to sit right against the clips now, to start Now, as with. I mentioned earlier in the video, you are going to have to, um, where the exhausts come down on the car, they're going to point at this. So I would cut this back bit off on a diesel. Um, but that's the only bit you've got to work out on this. Now, unfortunately, we've cut the ends off our exhaust already for fitting the SVO bumper. Um, now, it does come with these Y tips here. Um, well, not Y tips, sorry. These spreader sort of diffusory bit. And that would, if you've got a petrol car, that should go on to the end of your exhaust. Sorry if I'm pointing the wrong way. Oh, no, I'm not doing too bad. That should go on the end of your exhaust there. Um, either that way or it might even go the other way up. No, it's that. Um, but it, it's you could utilise that if you want, if you can make that fit. But you're going to have to weld that on, which doesn't make it a weekend job. I think your best bet, if you've got a diesel... It's just going to be to cut it, cut it across here. Obviously, cut it before you fit it. But when we've got it on the car, we'll have a look, and we'll we'll bolt it up like this. So yeah, I've just flipped the bumper over so that gravity helps me and keeps it looking tight and even all the way round. Yep. So you've got a gap all the way round. There's a little mark on there. That's just where the film the, was. The, the film. The yeah, that rubs off. And then, 
and then we'll need to go and get the help. But we're all ready then, so we need to go and get the third person just to hold the camera while we fit this. Right, we ready there? I'm going to grab one of the lads in, yep. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, we've got Brittany doing the film work today. So, right, let's grab this. Um, now, this, this top bit of the bumper goes quite close to that. Oh, how are you looking in? Um, these little tabs here, if you want to come in a bit, Brittany, show them these tabs. You've got to make sure these tabs are pointing upwards because they're going to screw on there. Right, how are you looking underneath here? And um, what point do we need to plug the electrics in? Uh, we can get to that pretty soon. We can get to that, okay, good. Yeah, so right. I'm kind of in. Yeah, I'm looking good. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking good. And then on the side here, there's some little jaws that, that grip it. So, once it's fully back, that's it. And then you should just be able to. How are we looking here? Yeah. Do you want to come and have a look at this side, see if I've got that in properly? I'm not sure I've got that no. in fully. Go all the way back. That's it, that looks better. That's it. Once it's <laughs> right, you'll get that body line right back. This is a little line there that just sits in. You've just got to push it towards the front of the car and then you can get it all in. Um, and then it's a question of bolting it back up and fitting those rear trim. But basically there's the, the fittings hidden under there. And then the, the screws all underneath that we didn't put in yet. The electrics and then the tie cover. Right, I'm going to have a little look under the exhaust, but thanks for helping in there, Brittany. I'll take that. Right, let's have a look underneath and see where those exhausts come to. So our exhaust, you can see we've cut off our exhaust here. Now the original exhaust would come down here. So if you cut this off, definitely, you'll be fine. If you cut this, this area here, you, you'll be fine. The exhaust will just come down as normal and the, on a diesel, and that'll be a cosmetic tip. That'll be no problem. Everything. So one other little problem we've spotted, it's not a major issue, is that where you've got these cutouts here, there's two little slots here. It's just that, that, been, that paint It's just got again. like a paint flashing over it. That's just pushing with my finger, you can see it just breaks through there. But So if you if you see that and you think, oh no, it hasn't got the hole fitted, um, just use a knife like Ian's doing there just to trim that out. And then the toe-eye cover will, will slot in a little easier. You'd probably push it out with the toe-eye cover, but... It probably would, but... I'd rather... Make sure we've got any job. But yeah, that, that's literally no more than just paint. It's so just... just just over the top. So there. we'll get the electrics connected, we'll get those fittings in, we'll get the tow eye cover, um, get the tow eye cover fitted. Now, just a quick one in. That tow eye cover, can we use the original clips off our original tow eye cover? Yeah, the quarter turn clip should be the same, so you can see there, you got the. So we'll have to swap those over from our original one, yeah? Yep. So we'll swap the tow eye covers over from our. We'll just check that's all, all good and fit that, and we'll just come back and finish that off. Okay, we've got the bumper on, we've just clipped the side trims back in along the sides here. Right, we now got to just put the toe eye cover in. So first thing we need to do is just rob the fittings off the old bumper. Oh, where am I pointing? That's it, I'm pointing the right place now. How hard are they to get? They shouldn't be too hard, should they? No, that pops out. Let's have a look. So these are the clips we need, they've got this sort of square head on the top. Some of them have a spade, but it's not, that's the, on a different model, the ones with the, like, the shovel end on them. Ian's got a little two pence piece there. Other coins are available. Because they've got the, they've got that slot in the top there, so you just line them up. There we go, that's it. Right, cool. Right. So you should just do your reverse. <laughs> Push in there. Push in. Yeah, they got that. Right. Um, now, hold on, let's just have a look at the clips. So we've got these these clips that are going to go in at the top, and then we've actually got these metal clips as well. So they're going to lock into these little slots here. So they're they're going to need a little bit of force. So I reckon we're going to hook the top ones in, then lever it, sort of fold it down, clip those ones in, and then lastly. 
it's a bit of a curve on it. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a game. Yeah, they're going to take a quite a push to get. You might have to give them a little tap. I reckon. Oh, yeah, just a gentle push, was it? Yeah. That one's gone. A gentle well. push. The trouble is the bumper's quite flexible, flexible at this point. Yeah, yeah. I might need to get a hand in to just... It looks like it needs to just push up a little bit, Ian, at the top there. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's not falling off anyway. Where did the 2P go? Where did your 2P? Throwing your money around again, Ian. Don't worry, it's your money. Oh. That came free with a car, didn't it? Let me clean it out. These can take a little bit of a wiggle just to find the... Get those lining. And when they're locked, they're, they're, they're running across wise, aren't they? When they're... Yes, yeah. when they're free, they're... And when they're open, they're running in the direction of travel of the car. Right, so there we go. Ian's doing the finishing touches there. Um, we'll get Ben to take some nice pictures and put them on the website. But just to give you a little walk around... There, that's got all the trim in. You can see the body kit all on there. It's got the exhaust built in. It's got that little chrome strip, toe eye cover, right out there. So, good luck with that one. <laughs>